This is the Sinis Bomber 125 and in this video we're going to do a full and comprehensive review. This looks like a Triumph Thruxton RS and a Triumph Thruxton RS costs £13,000 so looking at this you'd think that's going to be quite expensive but it's only £2,145. Now the Sinus Bomber comes with a Suzuki derived GS125cc engine and it's an uh, air cooled four stroke single cylinder engine. This bike only weighs 125 kilos and because of its light weight and its dimensions, once you've got used to it a bit, you can definitely throw it into the corners and it's, it's really nimble. The engine produces 11.5 brake horsepower and 11.6 newton meters of torque and like all 125s it's restricted so uh, it's no more or less powerful than any of the others. Um, um, once you've run it in and it opens up a little bit um, it, re it needs to rev so you have to rev it quite high but you don't have a rev uh, counter here so you can't tell what the revs are and it feels like it's revving probably higher than it is but you'll get 60 miles per hour out of it and that is again restricted by law so um, if you de-restricted it and put a different pipe on you could get more out of it. So it's got a seat height of 30 inches and um, for me it doesn't feel too small I think I'm probably on the edge of how tall you'd want to be I'm six foot one um, my dad's definitely too big for it but he's a bit old to ride a 125 anyway. Now on this um, as with many other 125s you've got what they call a combined braking system there hydraulic disc brakes but if you pull the front brake it also operates the back brake and vice versa if you hit the rear brake it operates the front brake so that's a sort of built-in safety measure uh, I suppose more for inexperienced riders because if you slam on one brake you're gonna uh, hit the dirt so um, by combining the two together as you should you should brake with both um, it's much safer. Uh, the fuel economy on this bike is fantastic it does 101.2 miles per gallon and 22.26 miles per litre and that really means that it's not going to cost you pretty much anything at all on petrol. So it's got a 10 litre fuel tank and at the minute petrol is about a pound a litre so it only costs you £10 to fill up and it'll do 222 miles per tank so that's going to really like to ride, excuse the crow in the trees making a bit of a noise. Um, it's a lovely bike to ride, ever so easy to ride. Uh, if you've just passed your test and it's your first bike, you'll be perfectly fine on it. If I was your dad and uh, you're 17, 18, and you wanted to ride this bike, male or female, I would say absolutely, totally amazing bike to have. Um, it's not too powerful like any 125, it handles beautifully, and it's a really fabulous looking bike to have. The fantastic thing about this bike is that it's not pretending to be something that it's not. It's, it is just what it is, it's a cafe racer. It's not pretending to be a Harley or something. Personally, I don't like cruiser 125s because they 
they look like they're meant to be a Harley, but they just turn it on and it's, it's a one to five. But this doesn't give that impression. This bike's got a five-speed gearbox, which is lovely and smooth. Um, but on most bikes, it's quite easy to forget what gear you're in. Um, but on this, you've got a little dial that tells you what gear you are in, so that's handy. It's got a locking fuel cap, which is really good. You're not going to get some scoundrel come and nick your petrol. Well, the suspension's quite firm, but it still gives you quite a nice smooth ride. Now, I'm quite a heavy guy, so um, I've found the bike fine to ride. So if you're a sort of normal sized person for a 125, uh, you're going to get on just fine with this bike. And um, yeah, it's uh, a lovely, beautiful bike to ride. This bike is a fantastic looking bike. Um, it's got lovely spoked wheels, upside down forks, um, a lovely looking fairing in the front. And um, it has actually got passenger foot pegs but it's got no other thing to sit, so you'd have to be pretty friendly with the uh, person you're riding with, but of course, um, unless you've done your full test, you can't legally have someone on the back. Now another great thing, if you buy one of these new, it comes with a two year warranty. Uh, this bike's got really nice looking tyres, and um, I can imagine they're quite good in the rain, but we haven't tested that yet. I personally think this is one of the most beautiful motorcycles on the road. It's absolutely stunning. And uh, whatever part you look at from the front to back, it's so beautifully designed and there's some beautiful quality parts. And if you're wondering why it says 37, uh, the reason is the designer, uh, it was his 37th birthday when he finished doing it. So uh, that's why that's there. know in the comments below what you think of this bike. I think it's the best looking 125 on the market and uh, leave a like on the video if you enjoyed and don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to check out our merch store. Um, we've got some really cool t-shirts, uh, some with our branding on, some with our all motorcycle related. Uh, some have got back prints and some just on the front. Uh, the link's below in the description.